We're back. We're back. Hi, you guys. It's me, Violet Chachki. And I'm Got Mick. And you are watching the first episode of season three of No Gorge. I love this drink. We're back. We have a gorgeous new set, new lights, new sign, new, new flowers. Outlook. New flowers. These are gorgeous. Swarovski crystal. It kind of is bringing it back to we season wanted one. To simplify, really, the reason that our old centerpiece was like that is because we there was an outlet on the wall. <laughs> and we were trying to hide the outlet. Yeah. We were actually watching a clip from the first time we ever attempted to do No Gorge ever, like what, two years ago? Yeah, it was insane. Oh we my like, God. We got together and we were like, let's just do it. In my opinion, if you're gonna start anything, you kind of just have to like do it and then fumble through it and figure it out. Yeah. Pretty much anything, I'm just like, okay. Like everyone's always like, what's your advice for starting drag? I'm like, just do, do it. it. Yeah, we all have to go through the ugly. I mean, you ask any content creator, like their first videos are gross. Yeah, well, and check out like, ours. It's awful. No, but the actual first one that we ever did, we decided not to upload it because it was so bad. Thank God we didn't. That was insane. No, but it was We literally just rented some random studio space in Burbank and we were like, let's just go. It was awful. You could like hear the freeway. It, it was like the busiest street ever. <laughs> the lighting was awful. The camera was awful. I was in my padding era. Ooh. <laughs> Not right. Not right. Should we put a clip of that in? 100%. Here you go. Please enjoy a tidbit of like our very first attempt at No Gorge. Let's get into <clears throat> our All right. Let's get into what I am considering the number one standout of Couture. Which I agree with. That's disgusting. So we've been gone. <laughs> we've been really gone. <laughs> Unexpectedly gone. No, I expected it. You did? I mean, when were we ever going to do this? No, I thought we were literally going to do it. Well, we filmed like all through Christmas last year. So we <laughs> thought we were going to be doing Christmas. Okay, it's October. <laughs> and then there was some flim flam flammery. And flamma and drama mama. And then we were like, you know what? this we're gonna do this ourselves which we were doing in the first place which well we started is out doing it ourselves let's get into <clears throat> surprise surprise <laughs> and then we started working with some people and then it just it didn't funky. work out for us it was funky <laughs> and so we took some time off and kind of did some other shit. and really the real culprit of why we took so much time off from no gorge is this <laughs> this fucking sign. It started with the sign. Yo, you guys truly have no idea how difficult to get Anything? a gorgeous sign made. No, so they made this sign and it was like, how long it did it take? It took five, six months. It Absolutely. It was insane. And then they shipped it to us with like no way to hang it up. Like it was just no like. No bolts, no wire. It was literally just a sign. It was like, figure it out. And then I was like, oh, I think we should make this C bracket and like hire a welder. And everyone thought I was crazy. But for some reason, I must have been a welder in a past life or something. Yeah, that's definitely what it was. I knew. A hundred percent. I knew. And it worked. Oh. It was a long f***ing time. It took like six months to get it here. And then another three months to figure out how the f*** we were going to hang it. Yeah. And then we're going to And then it was crooked. And then you wouldn't let us film with it crooked because you're a psychopath. Okay. We waited this long. We're going to go film with a crooked sign again. Because then no. all you little freaks out there would be like, it's crooked. I was like, no, we're going to do it right. And Is then it? it was too high. It was too high. And, low. and then every time you have to hire someone to do it because it's like a drama. Yeah. It's a big drama. It's Basically, just and they don't even, these people who don't even care. They're like, okay, when are they gonna start being funny? No, <laughs> they're like, okay, yeah, it took a long time. No, I think boring. Some people out there that want to know. They were asking. And then there were some kids asking. Violet was no on words. her hands and knees, steaming the couch. Yes, steaming couches, steaming curtains. Oh, there's a lot. I guess this is the thing for anything creative, like. The finished product looks great, especially for us people are like, oh my God, they just wear clothes and like look prettier, like whenever they're f Which is true. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but it's like, okay, well, there's a lot that goes into that. Mm -hmm. It's very uh, Carmen Carrera. I have to shave my ass, make sure I have no bumps on my ass. I still have to shave my ass cheeks. I still have to go through the whole process of staying away from razor bumps. You can't learn how to be pretty. You can't I don't think you're that pretty. So what have we been doing since our last 
season of No Gorge. I mean, girl, we've, we've done so much. I had a Vogue cover come out. I'm one of the only Drag Race girls, drag queens, to have a cover of Vogue. We both are. I know. We got to walk two runways together, which I mean, like, it's just crazy. I've said this before, but if you've never seen the show, welcome. It's just so crazy because I feel like I am living like so many of my dreams that I've Absolutely. always wanted. And I'm so lucky to be able to do it with you. It's so weird. Like, how often does that happen? Like, I your mean, best friend, you're like able to travel often. the world and get the same gigs and just be like, let's go walk the Vogue Louis Via Roma show together and let's go walk the Boss show together. And like, there's all this crazy shit. I like that know. doesn't I mean happen. performing at the Grammys like like that doesn't what? even happen on the simple life girl I wrote a book and she has like a chapter in it like there's just so much actually now that I'm thinking about a lot has actually happened this year we traveled everywhere Tulum South America Ibiza Canada Barcelona Costa Rica just gig 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 we're actually really world. lucky no we're the lucky well, people in the world I hate the word luck because it's like it's actually a lot of it is like showing up and doing the work and like all that I would say like 10% of it is luck. And then the other 90% I mean, is like- this is luck. Finding each other? Yeah. Like that's just crazy. That is crazy because most other, I mean, I've been through a lot of like queens <laughs> as far as like- through. Well, just like, I haven't met somebody from um, the drag world who sort of has the same thought process as I do. I got We've, my first beauty campaign. I won a Tom of Finland Icon of the Year award. And Dita Von presented it to you. My icon of life. Oh Which my god. Which is like dream come true. Full circle for me. I'm such a, a big fan of Dita. I want to get her as a guest on the pod. She has to. I know this season we really want to get guests. We've got a gorgeous little guest set up. Favorite drag queens, Trixie, Katya, Bob, Monet. Among yes. others, pod swaps. Pod swaps. Yeah. I want to get some of our celeb friends, some of our, even like our best friends. I want to get yeah. on here for sure. We're just like fashion divas at heart. And I want to do like fashion rewinds with all these like icons that we yes. have in our lives. Absolutely. And we shot an amazing, I'm calling it a campaign. I don't give a f I mean, it basically is. It basically is. We just like, um, we had our friends, Albert and Pedro, who are, I'm gonna just go ahead and say they're the best photographers I've ever worked with in my entire life. Literally same. And they just like get it across the so, board. Like they do all RuPaul stuff too and make sure her like nails are- They didn't always stuff. used to do RuPaul stuff. It used to be all Matthew Anderson. Yeah. Um, and then now they've got Albert and Pedro doing it. Albert Sanchez, Pedro's album. Love you guys so much. I don't know, the concept for the shoot was sort of like, I guess Y2K. And I just like haven't really seen it in the leather sort of fetishy way, only like a handful of times. Like I think Paris has a leathery Y2K look and then Britney has that really famous Y2K leather look. And I think that was like the main mood board for it. And then I sort of just love the idea of us being like super sized, I think we got inspired by Roxy Hart. It was like the, one of the main inspirations for us, like sitting on this sign and the sign just took so long to get done that I think it was like one of the biggest factors for the entire art direction. So then I think from there, we saw that Linda Evangelista photo where she's like stepping out of the billboard and she's sort of like a giant. There's like a matrixy element to it. There's like a Y2K element. There's like a 2000s element. It's like all the references. Amazon. Yeah. And then we we're like, oh my God, we need a trailer. We need a, we need like an intro, a new outro. So we shot everything in one day and we have so many photos actually to come out. We did like extra looks because if I've got Albert and Pedro, and we paid for like a studio and everything. I'm like, let's shoot as much as possible. Yeah. And we also shot sort of all this green screen footage. I just like, I'm so obsessed with every photo and every, it, the intro and outro and everything is just so cute. I know. Couldn't be better in my opinion. I just can't wait. And we want to do shirts. It's going to be amazing. You were traveling somewhere. Yeah, I was on my book tour. I forget. You were I out of town. Book tour. So I ran around town pulling all these clothes, like, trying to put together like just looks that we could both wear and pulling together a bunch of stuff. I went and I got you McQueen. I got Dior. I got like tons of stuff from Pachuca Vintage. I got these uh -huh. amazing Vivian Westwood heels in both of our sizes magically. So weird. Which is crazy. I was trying to pull latex for us. I was like running around. I feel like I was like doing the most truly. I was like stressed about it and I like booked the studio. I booked the wrong studio. I had to pay more and like, it was in the wrong part of town, and like I was just like doing the most. Oh, boo hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. And um, you had a a moment. Yeah, I had like a 
full mental breakdown on the set because it was just like, I don't even know. I was on my book tour and there was so much happening like that I can't even get into. I mean, it was just, I was just mentally unwell. Like it was just not okay. And I was just like, and I just kept trying to like push myself instead of like healing anything. And I just like kept being like, just go, just go. And then I went straight from the book tour where I was mentally unwell again and the whole time and went straight from there to here. And then I got there and I was like so overwhelmed that like I couldn't even like style a f outfit. It was, me it was just crazy. Like my brain was just like, no. And I was like, okay. And I was like, if I can't even put an outfit together, like what can I even do? So I just like lost it and I just had a breakdown. I was like, what can you even f do these days, bitch? Like you literally are depressed and a psychopath. And Meanwhile, so there was a full rack of like, Moschino, McQueen, I Dolce and & Gabbana, Galliano, me. Dior, like all I the latex, know. Vivian Westwood. And that's what sent me to the moon because there was even like a couple outfits where like I would dream to wear them. Like I want to own them so bad and like they were right in front of me. But like my brain was just like, no, like you are done. Like, and I was even laying in bed the other day thinking about how I would have like oh styled a few of the pieces. But I was just like fully was just like mentally, I mean, I guess like, I need to be more patient with this shit because I'm like, okay, girl, I just ran around town pulling all this stuff got some of your favorite pieces I know you would like love and that you want to own and you're like upset and I'm like what is the ish and also we're like on a time crunch because this studio space like we only have for a certain amount of time and then we also have all these photographers we're paying it was just like I was like what is going on over there right I don't know. I mean, it was like, here are the outfits, put them on. Well, I like to style them usually and I couldn't. And so it freaked me out. And I was like, oh my God, I'm literally like, can't do anything. My brain's broken and I'm a depressed like whole, I don't even know. It was, it was like so an sad. America's Next Top Model episode, my God, because we got the shot. Make it work. Yeah. Somehow, somehow, I don't know what, I, was You're, it my, I was like did fully, I pep talk? No. Yeah. you. Uh, no well a little bit yeah and you did kind of being like it was very i feel like there's some movie or something where it's very oh it's very like mama mia it's like chicka oh cheese i'll tell me what's wrong and you like wiped my fucking sh like got my sh together and you're like let's go we're getting the shot and, and we, thank god i did because the, the pictures are major and we got the shot since we've been gone we definitely glowed up because <laughs> we focused on ourselves out of drag a little bit what do you mean? I got hairline surgery and Botox. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. I got liposuction and a lot of Botox and a lot of filler. Isn't getting filler and Botox like normal? I don't get it. Is that like weird to do? I don't think so. Maybe weird the level I do it. My whole face is fake. But yours is like gender affirming. I always wonder what the line between like gender affirming and cosmetic is. Like is everything just gender affirming? Yeah. Okay. I love that. I sucked it out and you plucked it on. Cool. I mean, did we have a glow up? I'm confused. Like Rachel, our assistant. Our yes, new, we definitely did. Our we new were... team member is basically like, you guys really glowed up. It's we... like, so we were <laughs> ugly before? No, we or... were just large and bald. I'm ugly and I'm proud. I'm going to do it again as well. Oh, really? Absolutely. I love it. If you guys are have some thinning issues or I highly recommend doing a hairline transplant. And I'm going to do it again 100%. I mean, your hair looks great. Well, I got lipo also. At the same time, we like paired up our surgeries. Right. It was good. Would you say that's gender affirming surgery? Your liposuction? Yeah. I would. A hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I saw pictures of you before and it's shocking. Hourglass, diva. Yeah, I really had no I idea. I didn't know this <laughs> until, like, it's crazy because it not like, at the time we're like, we look amazing, best we ever looked. And looking back, we're like, whoa. Yeah, like Why I was did doing no one tell so me? many workouts to like really like get my body square and shit, but there's just like something away about the way I was born, girl, that my hips were hipping. And there's nothing I could have worked out to get that. No, out. you have there's to deduct. Like, no workout in the world. Do we have like a before and after picture we put up of your hips? Yeah. Are we really going that far? We can. Yeah. I mean, like, it's it's shocking. I look at, I posted a TikTok, like, a couple days before. And looking back and forth, I'm like, oh. I'm going to get a nose job. Oh, we're going to duo nose jobs. We're going to come that. back to nose, nose, nose gorge. Nose gorge. <laughs>
<laughs> That's what we should call it. No. That'll be the episode. Wait, when we have man, <laughs> like, man is on, is we're going to be like, welcome back to No, no Scourge. Scourge. <laughs> oh my God, you bought a house. Oh yeah, I guess that's new. That's so, that's like the most major one. I know. I bought my first home yeah. house. I'm gonna be doing renovations, and that's I, gonna like change your life. It's definitely gonna change. I'm mental. so excited. No, it's definitely gonna put me in a better mental place for sure. Then it'll it'll feel like everything that I've been working so hard for for the past ten years is like in fruition, materialized into something I can actually touch and feel and see. But that being said, I've been watching HGTV my whole life, and I still have no concept of how much a renovation costs today. And like the extent that I want to do things to is obviously like I want a movie set house i bought a car also oh, i did too i bought my first car you bought your first car i bought my second car your car's crazy my car that i got on facebook marketplace you guys <laughs> she finds it we were in italy at a bar and she found this car on facebook marketplace it was her birthday and she's like should it be my birthday gift and i was like literally yes like you'll never find this car ever again in your life like you couldn't even like no. build this car if again. i build this car it would be so expensive to have it built so we literally called nats and Gigi, and we're like can we get this car towed to your house right now like at random in the middle of the night and they were like sure it's a 1964 citroen ds i've been wanting to get like either like a jaguar or like a vintage mercedes or like some sort of like little toy car to ride around town in, like a vintage toy car. Cause my car, my regular day-to-day -day car is just like kind of boring. I got like a utilitarian <laughs> car. So I wanted like a fun car. And this car I found on Facebook Marketplace, you guys, it is one of a kind artistry. I've never seen anything like it. It's basically, how can I even describe it? It's like somebody has hand carved I don't even know what material it would be like like somebody has sculpted like a naked lady like her head is like on the hood of the car and like her arms are like on the taillights and then her body's like wrapped around the car and then her feet are like up on the trunk and like cute it's like like it's sexy. like fetish heels and she has like big tits and a big ass and like it's just like it's like a burning burning man project it's it definitely like some sort bit. of like burning like, it looks man something odd happened it's crazy crazy i have no idea what the story is behind it we like tried to figure it out and the person who sold it was just like yeah i don't really know uh but her name is athena i have to get it totally fixed and there's only like <laughs> two citron experts in all of california and they're like older gentlemen and they're really f busy apparently and my dumbass was like oh i'll just get it and like Were send they it i don't know i don't think they're impressed are they impressed <laughs> so then why don't they want to fix it it's just like a french car so people just like don't it's like a vintage french car so it's like very specialty and it doesn't run right now i know nothing about cars so my idiot <laughs> my idiot ass was like oh i'll just buy this car i will clear the gas line out it'll drive and then i'll just like over time like invest in fixing it up and like la 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 it'll be easy peasy lemon squeezy well it was hard hard lemon hard and just like everything it's not as easy as i thought, as I thought. so if you know what, any i would even drive this to like tow it to like arizona or like a, a nevada sure. or like any surrounding states that have experts in this specific french car just to get it up and running and get a paint job and like do the whole thing yeah but i think it's haunted everything i own is not haunted. like nats left it in his driveway and then he got like motion sensors and he like looked on the cameras and there was like orbs on like coming out of the car we'll play that footage too <laughs> so you guys decide because i was like is that dust no i mean it definitely like, no, looks it like an orb it could be a light though what color should i paint <laughs> it we saw a chrome wrapped car when we went to go see beyonce and i thought that was pretty cute like that all would chrome. be mental but it's just i just i don't know all I just, black i just get so crazy it'd be so fucking sexy and black i just can't even imagine but you could also just get well, it I definitely black. want like a black interior. And then so you could do like I do it chrome like, wrap it. Do I do it like flesh colored with like black shoes and like red heels, and like black hair. And like, do I make it look like me? Like, do I do tattoos like a tramp stamp? Not a self-portrait car. Well, like everything I own is haunted. So the house I bought is from 1909. Somebody's 100% been killed in that house. I don't feel the haunted vibe there though. Well, we have to go and do the Ouija board, I guess. Should that be an episode? Oh my God. But we could bring one in though. That'd be so scary. If we were responsible for haunting it, maybe I could. Maybe like I should bring the medium. Far. It's so definitely scary. a spooky house. The car is probably haunted, and then I also collect um, a lot of things secondhand, like lots of uh, porcelain and ceramic faces and vases and like vessels. Wow. And Rachel, our new team member, is basically saying that 
the reason I'm depressed is because <laughs> I'm haunted from all of these porcelain faces and vases and vessels and ceramic masks. So well, that's been really fun to think about as I'm laying in bed surrounded by all my tchotchkes. I will say Violet did teach me how to like vintage furniture shop a little bit. Like I'd never really gotten into the furniture buying I love lifestyle. And so I did start buying like vintage sh- and then on top of it, my aesthetic is haunted, awful, just haunted. Like if you describe my, it just like looks just not okay. It's so scary. Yeah. And so I'm like buying really f- scary old stuff, like crucifixes and the crucifix you bought is. F- it's really scary. That definitely was like a part of an exorcism. And, and there's they, like they put it written. in a a box mm-hmm. to and like. There's it, like sh- written on the back of everything and it's just like the rosary like a lot of stuff i get are like really scary i do my cleansings though i think everything in here right now has gone through at least two cleansings i gotta do my cleansing maybe that's the issue for real it feels good i think when i get into the new house i am gonna do like a full like rich so there's got i may i might just hire someone to come in and do like some sort of ritualistic cleansing and just like prepare it for the new vibes era new vibes new energy and clear out all the bad juju yeah Yeah. i like i read out like a bunch of like home stuff now i don't know i like violet's life like becomes my life and so when she bought the house like i'm like emotionally invested in this house oh my god everyone is it's like it's been like it's been the hardest thing i've ever done she's about to like move in and she like got all the like deets and stuff and i literally almost like shed a tear like us alone i was like oh my god no people don't understand like like, i'm so invested like as if it's my house they're gonna be like wow just so easy for her to buy a house and i can just hear them now it's the hardest thing i've ever done in my entire life and i had to literally jump through so many hoops to make this happen it no, was, you guys don't understand. No, they literally do not understand how dealing with lenders, dealing with my taxes, like, be, especially being someone who's self-employed, like, a lender is like, okay, so where is your pay stubs? I'm like, oh, I just, I work for myself. They're like, no, the hoops that's not good enough. went through is f-ing psychotic. I feel like in the future, you'll look back and laugh and maybe we could talk about it, but right now it's just, like, psychotic. No, it's been psychotic. And, I mean, you guys need to get ready for my f-ing home content. I'm going to make this house so f***ing. And like, let me know in the comments, should I create like, should I do some stuff on my YouTube channel, like a home tour and like renovation tour or like a little renovation show or like before and afters or I'm going to probably do a lot of sort of DIY stuff. I know, should she make a new channel? Put it on Violet? I don't know. I mean, maybe I just put it on my regular personal YouTube or like what kind of home content do you guys want to see? I really do want to make it like a like Pee Wee's Playhouse, but like fetish. I want so much home content from you because even like we're like always together i get your vibe very f-ing hard but even with this house like every single room i'm like what did you just say like it's like something like the craziest concept and every single room is like so different like if you actually follow through with what you say i'm like this house is gonna be no, mental i am doing every single idea i have with this f-ing house every room has a theme every room has a concept it's gonna be crazy well i'm hitting the it's happening starting like next week oh my god that's so crazy i know i'm so excited all right well i'm just so glad that we're back in action we're gonna be posting weekly every thursday thursdays just got so much yummier this is gonna be the craziest season yet we love you so much we miss you and see you next week bye gorge and make sure you check out me and Gottmik going through all the haunted mazes at universal studios hollywood halloween horror nights available exclusively for early access on patreon Now, of course.